back to the tin barn. I'm Pragmatic Lee, and today I got just a quick little update for you. Uh, my previous video where I showed setting up this JCS 900 uh, DRO on a lathe, I had some uh, bad information in that. The setup on the lathe is fine. It's setting this up for a lathe. It's where I uh, gave you some bad information. I apologize for that. Didn't hurt anything. It's just not good good practice and over a long distance it might affect your reading a little bit as well reading zone there I showed you that during the power up cycle to hit this S button down here and to to go through your various options over here and use the XYZ resolution to change X to be double whatever Y was. Let me pause right quick and point out to you that I've made labels for my DRO. This actually is printed Y and printed Y zero. I simply made labels to match the fact that it's on the lathe. But I said double this value. That way your cross slide would read against the diameter of the piece and not the radius of the piece. I was wrong on that. That is not the way to do it. This value should be the same as whatever the resolution on your scale says. This is a scale from another DRO, but it should be marked with the resolution. Like I say, this is from a DRO not meant for this one. That's not the way to set it. So put that back to whatever it was, whatever matches your scales. There's another set of parameters in these DROs that I have not found in the manual so far. I have not if I find any reference whatsoever to it. But after uh, some comments by some of my uh, viewers on the previous video, and please go back and read those comments as, if you haven't. Some very good comments on there. But it was pointed out there's another set of parameters in there and a way to get into them. And on this one is the millimeter inch button. And you've got to press it six times while during the power up cycle. Who would have ever guessed that? Who would have found that? But watch what happens here. Got to be fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. This comes up and says DRO5 now. It also will say a Digimat 5, not sure what that is. DRO is the what we're looking for. Now, this is what practically all of them, I suspect, is going to come from the factory, say in mill 3 meaning this is meant to be used or set up to be used on a mill with three X's, X, Y, Z, X, Y, and Z. Let's look at what our options are. We got a grinder, two axes. We got a lathe, two axes, a lathe, three axes, an EDM, three axes, mill two, mill three, that's back where we were. So let's find the lathe two. Once you've got that, now, press this S button over here. Now, you see this little character right here? We didn't have that character before. To change between diameter and radius, now we use the half button. Again, how these guys found this, I don't know, because it's definitely not in the manual. The manual is very bad translated uh, Chinese anyhow. This little symbol right here means that I'm that what this number represents is how much I'm taking off the diameter of the piece. So if I turn my dial twenty thousandths, I read twenty thousandths up here. This half button right here only works on the x-axis, but watch this little symbol right here. Half, x, now it's gone away. 
I'm only reading half of it, which means in reality I only move, I only move the cross slide ten thousandths, and that's what I'm taking off the radius. But that'll get you in trouble on the lathe. Half x half and now we're reading radius. I'm sorry, diameter. I have no idea what that little symbol is supposed to represent, but that shows you that what you're cutting off the diameter, what you're cutting is off the diameter of the piece. So I hope this will clarify anything that uh, I posted in the previous video. Uh, there's a few more functions I've learned uh, dealing with the calculator on transferring the number that you get in the calculator back to the x-axis uh, for coordinates or transfer them to the z-axis I'm, I'm guessing but I'm not going to try to get into that today I just wanted to post this video as quick as possible to uh, correct my mistake on the previous ones take care and I'll see you on the next video